Colin Shai vs Super Bond was a Muay Thai battle in which we saw all the weapons from the art of eight limbs in action. From knees and elbows in the clinch to kicks and punches from distance. It was the young Tawan Shai with power in every limb outpointing the combat sports veteran Superbon. Let's break down some of the key aspects that influenced this fight. But let's add a little context. Knowing the backgrounds of these two athletes is vital for understanding the amplitude of this match. Tawan Shai is the reigning featherweight Muay Thai king in one championship. He began his career in Muay Thai training at just the age of 8 years old. He says the biggest inspirations he has were legends such as Buakau, Sanshai, and Samart. When he began his Muay Thai career as a child, he was fighting outside of Bangkok on the regional scene. Tawan Shai would track his fight record in a notebook, but ultimately it became too difficult because he had so many victories. He made his debut in the iconic Lumpini Stadium when he was just 14 years old. At that time, he was competing at 36 kilograms, which is about 80 pounds. Since making his debut in one, Tawan Shai is best known for his knockout power. Whether it's with blistering punches, head kicks, body kick or even leg kicks. Talon Shai is a knockout force. But interestingly, he was not always this way. In 2018, he captured the Fighter of the Year award in Lumpini Stadium. That year, he won seven fights, but only one of them was by TKO. For most of his career, he has been a tactician, but more recently, he has become dangerous with his striking power. Overall, Talon Shai is a southpaw fighter, and most of his game revolves around his rear left kick. Superbon was creating a resume for being one of the greatest kickboxers in the history of the sport. He began his fight career at only the age of 6 years old. After a lifetime competing in the art of 8 limbs, Superbon left the sport. He explained that he was just too big for most ties to compete against and struggled to find an opponent. So he retired to become a policeman. Eventually, he began fighting on the international scene, but only part-time. A phone call from the legendary Buakau brought him back to full-time combat sports. Becoming a student of Buakau changed Superbon's life. With some incredible wins, he was en route to becoming one of the kickboxing goats. He is best known for his thunderous head kick knockout against former K1 Max champion and all-time great Giorgio Trojan. In addition to this win, he also defeated former Glory Kickboxing and Lumpini Stadium champion Sidichai. Plus, he put on a kickboxing masterclass against former K1 and Glory champion Marak Gregorian. With these wins, he was a top pound-for-pound -pound kickboxer who looked nearly untouchable. Superbon lost his title to the chaotic striker Shingiz Alizov by knockout. It was a momentous and unforgettable moment in the sport of kickboxing. Since then, Superbon has earned another big kick knockout win against Typhoon Ozcan. He then switched from kickboxing to Muay Thai to try to earn a Muay Thai world title against Tawan Shai. Superbon's game is based around his arsenal of kicks. Straight kicks from the front or rear leg, round kicks from either leg, targeting the body, legs, or head. He has a quiver full of dangerous kicks. Now, let's get into their one featherweight Muay Thai World Championship bout. Seconds into the fight, the two men exchange heavy kicks and Talon Shai lands a front kick to the body. This would be indicative of a key feature in this bout. Talon Shai is looking to choose what distance he wants the fight to take place in and launches teep kicks to keep Superbon out of range. He also uses the teep to counter any offense that Superbon may look to launch. The teep, no doubt, is a key feature. Just take a look. To attempt to close the distance, Superbon looks to counter the outside body kick with an overhand right. This has varying success and is quite often blocked. After trying this counter so many times, he begins to change his counter to keep Tawan Shai guessing. In round two, he closed the distance off of a body kick with a lead hook rather than an overhand. 
This got a nice reaction from the champion. And another interesting fold that I liked later in the fight to stop or counter this attack, how much I would begin combining his body cuts with punches, that way cutting to the inside against what would have been Sun punches. Tawin Shai launches a series of kicks and begins feinting his rear leg and hip. To welcome Superbon back into Muay Thai, Tawin Shai fakes rear kicks to draw a reaction and then lands an elbow strike. With so many kicks from the open side, Tawin Shai is able to start varying his attacks a lot more. Most of his round kicks were to the body, so when he attacks the lead leg of Superbon, the challenger was not ready and it lands without a check. Again, Tawan Shai successfully exploits the open side feint. Faking a rear round kick, he is able to land a cross right through Superbon's guard. And again later in the fight, throwing a feint into a combination. Throwing a huge amount of strikes and then faking off of those allows Tawan Shai to land strikes. But Superbon made a huge impact as Tawan Shai was aiming to close the distance. The Muay Thai champion moved in for a punching combination and Superbon countered with an elbow. The challenger Superbon was able to fake a series of kicks to close the distance and land an elbow. Tawan Shai and Superbon clinch up and Tawan Shai finds the opening to land an elbow back. Superbon has been throwing several outside leg kicks and will now exploit that by throwing a feint into a knee and then begin striking in the clinch with the closed distance. Superbon was able to find some success when Tawan Shai was on one leg. In round four, Tawan Shai slams a leg kick and Superbon uses this opportunity to land an overhand. Tawan Shai lets a rear side straight kick slide past him, but Superbon uses this opportunity to close the distance and land a combination. Overall, the Muay Thai title match between Tawan Shai and Superbon was a battle of two masters. These two were experts when it comes to the distance kicking game, and it was so much fun to see these two square off against one another. Ultimately, this became a battle of outside leg kicks, and who could exploit the feints off of this the best? We saw the younger and faster Tawan Shai get the nod. It was his bevy of kicks. It was the huge amount of kicks that he was throwing in this matchup that made all the difference. He was simply racking up points with that teep kick that seemed unblockable. My name is Tim Wheaton with Calf Kick Sports. Thank you so much for joining me. I host a weekly kickboxing podcast, Kick Weekly with Tim Wheaton. If you'd like to join, we'd love to have you. Make sure to check out more on the Calf Kick Sports channel. Links will be down below if you want to see more of what we're writing at any time. Folks, thank you so much for your time. Oh, I can't.